Hello ETL enthusiasts. I have been preparing and uploading series of presentations for Informatica interview preparation. Uh, this will be helpful for Informatica interview seekers. So welcome to this presentation and is this is related to Unix shell command. So why do we need a shell commands to learn, right? So in general, while Informatica interview, 70% of the questions comes from Informatica, 5% of the questions from ETL basics, 15% from SQL and 5% is from Unix. So this presentation represents those 5% of the Unix commands which needed for Informatica interview. By the way, this is Sri Ram presenting this one. Let us start the music. Here you go with the first question. How to add a new column? of values to the existing file at the last okay so i have two shell commands here one is awk one is sz so these two are uh, these are two are powerful tools that we have for unix uh, shell scripting so i'm doing with awk i'm taking a variable with value current date and i'm placing that in this file file.csv so minus f is the separator field separator that is comma so this is comma separated file and OFS is output field separator, which is also a comma. And dollar four. Why I'm mentioning dollar four? Dollar four is something last column. See, I have file.csv which have three columns already. So dollar four will be the fourth column. So what values you want to print at that particular uh, column is D. That is D is nothing but a date. V date is nothing but a date. So finally, we are doing that. We are doing. Uh, we are creating a dollar four new column and then putting the date into that particular column onto the file.csv which is input and output whereas set command is also there which uh, does the same thing i will tell you the difference set s with dollar dollar is like last position of the particular uh, file uh, fifth, uh, whatever column it is end of the column and then I have to give the value. Why I gave comma? Because this is comma separated file. So I have to have this one and I gave this one. So if you observe the first one, I'm taking the system date. So it's a dynamic one. Whereas second one, I'm giving the date hard coded one. So that's why the difference between these two is this is dynamically represented. If you run today, then today's date. If you run tomorrow, then tomorrow's date. But this one, if you run today or tomorrow, it doesn't matter. It will be 7.30 only. That is the difference between these two. Let us move with the second question. How to search a string and replace with different value in specific column only, only particular column. Say I have a file of 50 columns and I wanted to do this search and search operation and replace operation on particular column that is 30th column. So how to do it? So I have two commands here, set as well as awk. So minus f as I told this is field separator. OFS is output field separator, which is I am giving it as a pipe gsub is a, a global substitute function that can help you to replace search for 0, 0730 and replaces with 831 on particular column that is dollar 30 and printing file input.txt it is it is applying all this operation on the file input.txt and putting into file output.txt and the set command here s and i gave the input string which need to be searched and have to be replaced with 0 at 31 g means global file input.txt and put it into file output.txt what is the difference between these two right so this g sub operation is happening on dollar 30 only only one particular column but in here it's a global that means it will simply apply on whole file say for example you have 50 columns and the two or three columns have the dates and this date may match between all the columns then all columns will be replaced not only dollar 30 but also dollar 45 dollar 25 dollar whatever whatever columns which is matching this condition so that is the difference between these two let us go with the third question so how to sum of a particular column and display two decimal values say i have some 10 columns and i have only value in particular dollar 3 column so how do you do sum and display two decimal points okay and that means he wanted to have after dot he wanted to have two decimal points so that's why this awk tool command will help awk sum plus sum is a aggregation function we use plus is equal to which column you want to do it dollar three and end printf percentile two because you wanted two decimal floor points that's why it is 2f and then you are displaying sum into file.txt so you're creating separate file which gives you some of the dollar three values let us get into question number four. 
how to sum of a column based on a group by column so you have items and the amount values for them and you have to sum up uh, item based uh, amount sum okay so here is the example so item 100 item 2 200 item 2 this way so item 1 it has 300 uh, amount amount or quantity whatever it is so this is the output we are expecting from this one okay and also uh, get, uh, assume that we have header here for this particular file so i have this awk tool command which can help you to do this one so how awk minus f minus f is a field separator with comma and i am giving nr nr greater than 1 that means you are taking new records uh, after first value that is nothing but first is header so i am taking all other values other than header here so nr is new record and then i am taking array of values for dollar 1 these items all items and then i am summing it up with dollar 2 and for an uh, for using for loop i am printing all the values and put it into item dot csv and i am sorting it out so finally we are getting this output let us get into question number 5 how to send email in html format so most of the in etl uh, world we need to do this one to sending the exception reports or you know daily um, progress reports and all the stuff that's why we need this one Im uh, importantly so the shell command we use is email the sorry send mail minus t okay so we use echo to have this uh, html format from which email you are sending to whom you are sending and the subject and then this mime version content type these are html basics so you need to have these ones and i am also giving load date uh, source what sources and what error message you have all this into html and putting it to html file now i have to open this html file and using pipe command you have to send email minus t minus t means we are not mentioning any to or uh, from here but it is already mentioned here so from so you will you will get an email kumar jaffa email.com will get an email from sriram jaffa mail.com with this message in html format okay when they have asked you this question they will also ask how to attach a particular file and send an email okay this is required too while exception reports while daily progression reports those many things are session log uh, you have to send it to uh, support team so you need this one so they will ask you um don't afraid of this one this is actually um they don't expect you to exactly tell you what are these things okay but you have to remember some of the items which are needed they will ask you um how do you send email and you know the the attachment must be secure right you have to encrypt that so those are the important things needs to be um, understand from this one okay how do you attach right so so these are the first three columns which are required from to and subject mime content these things are html related things these are needed okay and then finally you are in unencoding okay using bbase uh, 76 or encryption command some encryption you are doing it up for the attachment okay and you are sending email using send mail command send mail mail to so you are sending that email attachment you already mentioned here so you encode attach this one what is dollar attached dollar attached is something you are giving your file name into this variable attach is equal to you give file name where is the file name with the with the path that file will be attached here and you encode and encode, encode encryption will be done and then attach it to this one and then send email to using send mail command so this is very important you, you just need to understand couple of things here not exactly remember what is content type multi-part alternative mix so no no you don't need to do all this but how do you attach is very important so you encode minus attach this attach command and then how do you send an email that is very important so let us get into the last part of this uh, preparation so i have uh, two questions for you so question one how to display different lines between two similar files or how to display common lines between two similar files okay and the question eight i'm asking you is search for a string and display all lines of file that matches the string value so that is nothing but a grep command so that is the hint here okay thanks for watching that's it guys uh, we reached the end of the presentation thank you so much have a good one